Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. One of the things that gets under my skin the most in the Dead by Daylight community is watching a genuinely kind person get harassed and ridiculed over this goofy video game. And unfortunately, that's exactly what we're going to be looking at today. A streamer by the name of Sergeant CJ was playing a match as Clown on Larry's against a four-man Survive with Friends. And two of these survivors are actually streamers themselves, but they weren't live. Sergeant is somebody who's very chill throughout his games, whether he makes mistakes or the survivors are getting gens done. He just remains chill and will even continue to compliment the survivors. I do have blood last. Oh, that was a bad shot. Okay, I knew that gen was going to get done at some point or another. Oh, I missed! Ah, whatever, I'll get a save of best for last stack. Oh, nice. Should I drop that? Yeah, should. Oh, I got stuck. Well, got that one. Bad idea to stay around here. Oh, I got it. Nice. One of the things these survivors get upset about is tunneling. He ends up chasing one of the survivors after they get unhooked. Let's take a look at why. Okay, definitely want to do this one. Ah, and borrowed time. I thought should have swung. Oh well. As you can see, the survivor gets unhooked and immediately runs directly into the killer to try and take aggro. Now, I think it's kind of silly to blatantly throw yourself directly in front of the killer to try and get their attention and then complain that you got tunneled. Many survivors do this to try to waste the killer's time. They'll try to body block with the endurance, take a hit, and then at that point they just hope the killer leaves them alone, which is pretty ridiculous. I mean, if you're gonna, you know, you want to take the egg or you want to take the chase, expect to get chased. The survivor does end up going down again and they get hooked and after they get hooked the entire team ends up swarming around the hook trying to get the save so he doesn't have anywhere to go so as he says i have no reason to leave at this point and since the entire team was there sergeant just waited for one survivor to commit to the save so he could get a trade but none of them did commit and so they died on hook now even while being at one gen left with nobody else on death hook he chooses not to tunnel Probably because the person on hook didn't shove themselves in his face. And this is the point where the messages start to pour in. I see, I see someone sending me a message. Hang on. Hang on, I'm a little busy here. One second. Uh, you only got one kill with six hooks? Tunneling? This is my first time like doing iridescent clown, so I'm not going to be perfect at it. At the end of the match, he gets Gabriel on the hook and decides to stay near the hook to secure the kill and get a 2k. There we go. Alright, sweet. Got a 2k and makes it a draw. This is where the messages really start to heat up, and you'll notice there's two names of the survivors that I don't blur out, and that's because their names don't exist on Twitch anymore. I'm assuming because they got banned, but I am going to blur the two that are streamers, just because I don't want anybody to go over there and harass them. Uh, and Sergeant also requested the same thing, that I blur their names so that nobody harasses them. Also, I don't think it's worth giving them any extra attention. Anyways, back to the match. Average two viewers playing like this? That's crazy, dog. Oh, the classic viewer shame. That's insane, Brody. Well, I mean, wh what did you want me to do? I was protecting that kill to make it a 2k. What do you want me to do? Go around the map, count to 10, and be like, ready or not, here I come? But GG's, though. I wish you luck your next game. Even despite getting shit-talked and viewer-shamed, he still tells them GG and wishes them luck in the next match. I love this guy's attitude. If you thought the viewer-shaming was bad, it gets much worse. You should want to commit here? Man, that's so sad. Maybe look at yourself in the mirror before actually saying something like that. What's your intelligence quotient? Why does- I mean, why does that matter? First of all, why does me playing a killer have to do with, like, intelligence stuff? I don't get it. Why am I take- Well, I mean, why are you taking it out on me? It seems like you're taking something out. Is everything in okay in your life, bro? Because now I'm actually starting to get concerned. 
Is there something wrong that you're lashing out at me for? Just curious. Yep. He tells him to off himself, mocks his intelligence, and asks him if his parents died recently. All over a match of Dead by Daylight. Shit is wild. This is where the second streamer comes in, and they actually pretend to be nice to him, and then they just insult him. Hey, GG's man. Good, good luck on your next game. You're definitely handling this better than this uh, other guy here. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that was a good one. You sure got him. Um, maybe you should get your mentally unstable friend under control. You know, the one that's telling someone to end their life? Yeah, maybe, maybe your priority should be calming him down rather than continuing to whine over this video game. The survivors then proceeded to stay and harass him for his entire next match, continuing to mock his intelligence, his name, and his viewer count. Sargent told me that the main reason for sending me this was so that smaller streamers just starting out streaming Dead by Daylight would know what to expect. How messed up is that? What's really ironic is both of the streamers in this friend group have less followers than Sargent does. And there's nothing wrong with not having a lot of followers. Everybody starts somewhere. But it's just like you would think that they would understand and respect the grind as a small streamer getting started. Because I can guarantee you they're not averaging any more viewers than Sargent is. So just being a part of that friend group that is just, you know, shaming viewers and saying you have no career. But here they are doing the same exact thing with even less followers. Like, it's just ridiculous. Speaking of followers, this is the point in the video where I'm going to please ask you to go over to Sergeant CJ's channel and drop a follow and show him some love, show him some support. His attitude is fantastic. He's also very funny and just lighthearted and seems like he'd be a great guy to talk to. So if you guys want to drop in there, show him some love, say hi next time he's live, that would be awesome. He currently has a follower goal of 60 and he's three away. I think we can hit that for him, maybe a little bit extra. I think it's really important to show love and support to people like this who don't take the game that seriously and don't treat people like shit. Listen, if you're somebody who loses in a video game and the first thing that you do is go and tell someone to end their life or talk about their parents being dead or their intelligence or viewer shame them or just say anything to make them feel terrible or worthless or whatever, you got some shit to figure out. You, you got to just take a step back, take a break, get some therapy. I, I don't know, but like it, this is not it. It's not worth it. It's not worth getting this worked up. It's not worth, you know, telling people to do horrible things, especially when, you know, who, who knows where their mental health is? Who knows, you know, how close they could be to doing something like that. You never know. You never know if their parents actually have died recently or ever. Either way, it's just, it's a video game. Calm down. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't be like the survivors in this video. And uh, if you've had experiences like this with survivors or killers, let me know in the comments. Be kind to your fellow gamers, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.